sharing articles online, we typically will just copy the URL on the top of our web page. For example, if I want to share this web page, I would just click on the URL, copy, and then paste, and we get the same web page. In most cases, that is the correct way to share a link. But when we have to share articles from our library database, we have to use a special link called a permalink. For example, if I went to Academic Search Premier located in our library databases, and I was looking for articles on phishing, and I wanted to use this particular article, our first instinct is to simply click this and copy it. And at first glance, when I make a new tab, it seems like it works fine. However, if I were to open up a new browser, or if I were to use that link on any other computer, I'm going to get this message. This is because that link only works if you've gone through the library properly. In order to share a database article without getting those error messages is to use a permalink. A permalink will usually be located on the side of the article or somewhere around the upper corner. So in this case, the permalink is located right here. So when we click it, we're going to get a much different URL, and it's probably going to have something called a proxy that looks something like this in the front. Now, if we use this on a new browser, and we paste it, now it works correctly. Therefore, make sure that when you are sharing articles through a database, particularly Academic Search Premier or EBSCO or ProQuest, it's highly important that you use a permalink Otherwise, most people will not get access to it. Mm -hmm.